So we grabbed our water, we grabbed our fuel, we grabbed our backpacks, we grabbed our cash, we grabbed our rifles for protection, and for hunting, we got on our vehicles and we left. We drove for about half a day and met at a pre-arranged location with our friends, uh, the Flying J Outfitters, who had horses and brought us into a camp. So we come in last night to a pre-arranged location and met up with some people that have already created a campsite. And the first priority this morning is to set up traps. Put very well. Okay. Ojibwa trap, uh, or obi trap, is a good way to get birds. So essentially what you're going to want to do is flatten out one side of a tree. This is the tactical Chogan T-Hawk. It's one of the few tomahawks that I can use for, you know, defensive purposes and as a functional bushcraft tool. I'm gonna do some drilling here. What I want is a hole right here that I can put a stick in. I'm just gonna pick that spot and just curl it until I cut that center of that tree out. This is the Bark River Drop Point Hunter. So this is a convex grind, I don't know if we can see that, which means that it consistently rotates to the point. But you just spin that in a circle, cut it out until you've got a hole. And to show you that you can use an all or leather punch as well, just push in and twist and it, it cuts about that same way. It just twists as you go along. And see, we're already through. Now I need this hole to be big enough that I can stick a piece of wood through it. All right, you see me in there. The place that you wanna set this up needs to be right here in the middle of the open, okay? So basically, this is the only tree in the open. And like I say, if you've got an only tree in the open, use it. But if you don't have it, Make it. So now you need a tree with a fork. This one isn't quite perfect. I'm basically gonna make a point to go in that little hole that we just carved. Take the bark off a bit. It slides in there a little easier. And you can see this choking just tears right through it. Take these tips off. And they, basically there's my fork. Now this fork is gonna be a fake tree. I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit. It just goes in a hole just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a, a rock from here with a string that's got a knot tied in it. And that's why I wanted it to be flat on top. And then I'm gonna put a loop right here. So the bird lands right here and it drops the stick down and lets the knot loose and then that rock pulls and holds the bird to the tree. That's how you make an Ojibwa trap. So the next thing that we need to do is to go out, do some hunting, gather water, purify it, you can't ever guarantee out in the wild that you're not going to get giardia from the water that you find. One concern that we have here is there's hoof prints. Wherever there's hoof prints, there's large animals. And when you have large animals, they're gonna drink and pee in the same place, which means they're gonna leave Cryptosporidium, Giardia, and other biological contaminants in the water. Because of that, you need to purify and filter the water. What we've done today is we have the Geiger rig system. It's got two bladders in it. One of them is an air bladder that pressurizes it, and one of them is the water bladder. Now, the really ingenuitive part of this is the fact that you can get this little filter. It's an inline filter. What this gives me the ability to do is on the inside here, this attaches to that second uh, bladder we talked about a second ago. 
and then I can pump it up. You can see it getting more full. It creates pressure on that bladder and it'll squirt right out. And I can stick this right directly in the river. I pulled that right out of the river. And clamp it shut. Okay, I'm gonna hook that right up to my filter. Okay. It tastes really good because it's very cold. Some very good water. Now, filtering means I'm removing chunks of stuff like mud. Purifying means I'm either killing or removing the things like Cryptosporidium and Giardia from the water. The, the main ways that you can do that is chemical, and the chemical kills off the uh, Cryptosporidium Giardia viruses. You can filter, and that removes it from it, and you can boil it. That just kills everything dead. From a survival perspective, this backpack is phenomenal. We ain't brave. We're gonna go see if we can find us some coyotes. So, I chose to bring a 12 gauge side by side shotgun. And the reason I chose this is because I have a wide variety of rounds that I can use. watching for movement, we we're watching for the tail of the coyote, listening for the howl, listening for them to communicate in the distance if there's multiple coyotes.